Greetings and great day, beautiful people. Dr. Dominique Reese here, CEO of Reese Financial Services, where I am the chief financial coach, consultant, and strategist. And I am here to talk about this recent article uh, that was done at the top of the year with Susie Orman and the Wall Street Journal. Now, I'm going to just start by saying, don't listen to Susie on this one. You are not Susie Orman. And I will share my screen so you can see the article. Um, but maybe I won't share my screen so you can see the article because that might be like some kind of infringement. Go check out the article. It's called Why Susie Orman Never Goes Out to Dinner. Okay. And so um, in this article, you will find that she says she hates budgets. If you restrict, you limit, you cut back, you don't buy this, you don't buy that. And then all of a sudden you explode and you go out and you buy everything at once. A lot of people do that. And that is not the reason to stop budgeting. Okay, mind you, this interview happened at the top of the year and Susie Orman is living her best life right now. She lives in the Bahamas with her partner and she fishes how, however often she wants. So you have to be mindful <laughs> that Susie is in a different stage of her life where everything in divine order, budgeting is not something that she has to be concerned with. And although she has been a renowned go-to financial expert for decades, even she has shifted in how she talks about money. So if you're looking to excuse yourself from budgeting this year because Susie Orman says she hates budgets, and not to budget, but instead to ask yourself, do you feel more secure? Yes. Do you feel powerful and secure, as the article says? And you can still ask yourself that while you budget. And this goes back to my point about patterns. So even in that example she gave, she suggests that if you restrict and you limit and you cut back and you don't buy this and you don't buy that, then all of a sudden, and it's not all of a sudden, money is behavioral. And there is still a level of personal responsibility here that you must understand that pattern. If that is your pattern, then you must understand the pattern you have. Break the pattern, shake the pattern, right? So if you find that when you cut back, when you restrict, when you don't buy this and when you don't buy that, that you then have a tendency to go out and splurge, identify that pattern, acknowledge that pattern, and then identify the promise on the other side of that pattern. If you did not do that, if you did not explode and go and splurge, what would be on the other side of that? If you cut back and you limit and you don't buy this and you don't buy that, what is on the other side of that behavior? And I would proffer and or submit to you that if you don't have a specific goal for why you're cutting back, for why you're not spending on this, for why you're not spending on that, then it will feel like this is futile. It, it You're more likely to splurge. But if you anchor that behavior of cutting back and limiting and being mindful, if you anchor that behavior in a very specific, smart financial goal, you will be more likely to understand why you're doing what you're doing, find the promise on the other side of that behavior, and literally feel okay within your financial operating system, 
feel and be okay with the decisions that you are making because they are not sacrifices. You are then making a conscious, responsible, informed decision not to spend on this, not to spend on that because there is a goal that you are to achieve by using this behavior. And there is a promise on the other side of that behavior, which could be increased savings, better discipline, um, better cash flow management, decreased debt. Listen, that's five right there. So don't listen to Susie Orman, Orman in terms of excusing yourself from budgeting because Susie Orman said, all you got to do is ask yourself if you feel more powerful and secure. You can still ask yourself that question while you budget. All right, that's all I got. <laughs> Dr. Dominique Reese here. I pray that you have a productive, prosperous day today, that you find comfort in your discipline with your finances in this day. We're going to be present in this day. We're going to be mindful in this day. And if you don't have a financial goal that you can be committed to, I suggest you get one. I suggest you think clearly about what it is that you want to achieve within the next 30 days, even if it's a 30-day goal. We don't always have to set these long-term goals, but I want you to get one that you feel committed to, that you can anchor your behavior in and, and commit to that for the next 30 days. All right. Talk to you soon. Peace.